Hello everyone and welcome back to another game for Flux Cup right here. I'm here with Sidecasting and we have also Joe Razor on the side as my co-caster and we're really excited to get into this game between Volcanic versus Grubs. This will be a phenomenal match coming in. Both teams are community and there's just a lot of tension between going on between them. So I'm really excited to get into it. Thank you again for joining us and with all the changes going on, right, with Overwatch, we just had a very recent patch coming in with a lot of nerfs and balancing act going on. Joe, what are what are your thoughts? Like, you know, we're coming in fresh into this game. We should be seeing some changes into, uh, you know, while these teams are playing in this composition-wise. Like, what are your thoughts on that? What do you think we'll be seeing from these players in this match that we're about to get into? Yeah, this is a super exciting match between uh, who most people would consider to be the top teams. Uh, in advanced current, uh, in advanced currently, they both rosters are stacked with so much talent on them, um, and they are the only teams to come away with three O's last week. Uh, in the advanced division, they managed to uh, see Grubs managed to get a three O last week over Last Kings, while Volcanic managed to get theirs over Chicago Butchers. So some really strong performances for both sides. Probably some of the best performances we saw out of either division last week. Um, so this week, I think this is the biggest match of the season so far. Um, like I said, both teams, ton of talent on the roster. I mean, Grubs, your tank line is Salmon 4. Like, that's a phenomenal tank line. Uh, and then on the other side, Volcanic, they also have a really strong tank line, Dizzy and Trudonger, two very capable tanks. Um, so I think this is going to come down to more of the teamwork and less of the individual skill. Um, early on the season... Uh, you can normally get away with all of the individual skill, but I think when both teams are so evenly matched in that department, it just has to come down to who's able to work better as a team and who has some of the more built built in coordination. Yeah, definitely agree. Synchronization is de the name of the game when it comes to Overwatch, and especially with all these teams, right? Uh, usually, how Flux Cup works that you get drafted, the team drafts happen. So it, the teams usually don't have a lot of time to mesh together at the beginning of these tournaments. As you go along the tournaments, as they play more and more, they get more honed into their skills and just build that bond together but this is not really the case it's still the beginning of this entire tournament for flux cup so i'm interested to see how these team play and just really mesh together and pull out these different compositions that we might be seeing where uh, i was talking about how there's a lot of changes going on with all the changes that been went uh, that went through for ball and sigma I, I think we'll be seeing something a little bit more different especially when it comes to the defending team we might see yeah. some you know ball sigma coming in for the attack sigma is a bit I... more clunky now with yeah. the fact that they he needs to you know keep their shield up for much longer but i think for defense we might see some ball diva as you were talking about earlier before the stream started yeah i think ball diva is probably the best comp in the game right now um it's provides a lot of Dive, some form of dive comp is very strong currently. Um, because Brawl, you can kind of just get outclassed by a lot of the... Due to the fact that Brawl comps, uh, a lot of the shield nerfs that have come through, makes it a lot harder to get to the, uh, uh, the opposition before you get chunked down, taken down by, a, what, like an Ash or a McCree or a Hanzo, really. And so it makes the Brawl comps a lot harder to get to the objective and Brawl um, as quickly as possible. But this but dive though you can just get there immediately and you can also be backed up by some of these long green shit scan or your hanzo and that's why ball sigma was really good because you were able to do this and then have the sigma protect your back line uh even while you were diving but the thing is sigma out with that reduced shield uh with that increased sh uh, shield cooldown i think he's i i don't want to say dead but he's definitely uh I think teams need to play him far less, uh, and I think if a team tries to run the Sigma full-time this game, that team will lose. Yeah, I definitely agree. The clunkiness might get into them, especially in a map like Li Jiang Tower that we might be we're going in for this uh, first map of control and uh, control tower, especially when it comes to control center. It's a lot of spam going on at the very beginning of the fight, and like you talked about, 
Sigma is really not in a position to move their shield around as prominently as they did before this patch. So we might see a quick little burst from Junkrat burning down their shield, and there's just no cover for the backline. So Diva might be something we're seeing more and more prevalently as you can diva could always eat up as much as damage as possible and offer that dive potential so we might see some dive coming back and even you know maybe some you know a lot of a lot of um brawl may brawl so i'm looking forward to that because of watching last week if you guys were watching the games from volcanic they were actually utilizing the may brawl very efficiently and they talked about how they want to keep playing keep kind of experimenting with all these compositions see what really suits them and talking about last week you know when we did the interview for volcanic they said their biggest foe right now their biggest you know competitor are grubs so there's this uh, contention that's been going on and these both teams realize that they are the top of the food chain at this point so it's all about who could eat whom first and just you know go up to the very very top after this game goes on yeah whoever uh man just said this game i think cements himself as the best team and expert and puts themselves in a really good position for the rest of the season um, our first map, though, if I'm not mistaken, will be Lijang Tower, um, a very popular control map, to say the least. So Lijang will, I'm pretty sure, be where we are starting. Um, wouldn't be surprised if we saw Brawl on Control Center. Uh, Night Market probably will see Brawl again uh, with the Symmetra TP, of course, into the window. Um, and then on Gardens, you see a variation of stuff, but normally you would see some form of dive. Yeah, that could definitely happen. I I think ball will definitely be played in Garden because of all the mobility the map offers. It's just mostly an open map. There's a lot of verticality that could be used in a lot of sense too. So Echo Ball are not a bad bad choice at all when it comes to Gardens. But let's see what these teams do because I'm super excited to see. Usually, you know, Legion Tower is always one of the favorite maps to watch because it's either a team gets super stomp or you have the longest overtime ever to cast. So it's usually those two things, never in between. So it's always nice to see, you know, what happens going in. But other than that, um, let's talk about the players here, though. The Like, both teams are just so stacked. If you guys are from League Zero, you should recognize these names nonetheless. Yeah. You know, we have Sam, Four, North, you know, so many different players coming here. Sev, we, we actually have a pretty stacked, you know, uh, healer lineup too. Sev and Renter, both are just insane players. I'm I'm surprised I'm not seeing Oh No Potato here from the sign, uh, side of Grubs. He, they're a fantastic Lucio player, and I think Lucio comes in handy when you're running majority of these compositions, especially when it comes to Brawl. Yeah, um, you could play the Lucio, So, but I, I think um, like Zen Mercy, I think <clears throat> is should be the team's favorite backline. Um, the Zen can pump out so much damage and it allows you to isolate a target really well, which is what you want to do in these dive comps. You want to choose mm -hmm. a target, dive on them, and take them out as quickly as possible. And the Lucio does help you get there faster. Uh, but the I think the Discord Orb and the Transcendence as well is a very powerful ultimate. But I think the Discord Orb just allows you to get onto people as quickly as possible uh, and blow them up. And then the Mercy just provides that bit of damage boost and also the Resurrect, which is another very... Uh, powerful ability and so i think what those are some of the bigger reasons that i that you would tend to see those uh those supports played but you could see a uh, ana as well um if you wanted to get a bit more healing in there baptiste can be ran if you want to run more of a brawl comp or a double shield but i i think more of the zen mercy is what i would expect from these teams yeah, definitely. Zen, uh, like you talked about, it, it's just so much damage being pumped out. And uh, it's all about efficiency when it comes to eliminating people as quickly as possible. So I, I definitely agree with you on the Zen. Uh, but, you know, also feel like, that, you know, sometimes it feels like it really depends on the round and where they start from. Like a lot of the times I've seen a lot of teams opt for uh, the Lucio at the beginning of King's Road just to get to the point faster with that little boost but we'll see what happens i do like the zen comp a lot but uh, i'm thinking you know other than that you know usually we would used to see a lot of zen 
on the you know ball sigma composition and then we'd all listen and talk about how zen zen ultimate the transcendence is so potent on those compositions because you always have to look out for these ultimates to counter counteract ultimates like gravitic flux and you know these big cooldowns so i want to see how these teams playing around some of these ability cooldowns and how they kind of you know reenact and go from there just really play this reactive i guess this reactive style of just always evolving as the game goes on yeah the um, reactive style is very um kind of what you could see in some situations but also sometimes you want to take a very aggressive approach mm -hmm. um Definitely. which which i think the bald diva provides you a bit more of than some of the other compositions you could earn because the bald diva allows you to go in <clears throat> super quickly um move very quickly as a team well some of these other comps like a ball zarya or a ball sigma you have to play a bit slower um ball zarya is a very uh slow comp i mean uh, the ball sigma excuse me is a very slow comp so interested to see uh which comp they choose and also how fast they pick up the tempo depending on the comp they choose yeah definitely and we will be getting into our game in about like a minute or so so uh, sit on tight you know we're almost there and i'm you know it, it's an exciting time I, I want to see these teams play because we like we keep mentioning these are the you know community favorite teams right here top two teams they literally dominated their last week games Bo uh, both of these teams went through yo so there's a lot of you know power and a lot of weight that they're bringing to this matchup right here you know as as one would call it the clash of titans or very early in the season uh for this flex cup but nonetheless like these are the two teams that are like super super favored and super popular so i want to see how they handle this in game and just go on now about it right. and now we will be loading in lijang tower and and that's it it's night market so we might be seeing some uh, semester at the beginning yeah um night market finally got into the game but night market is where we're going to be starting <clears throat> um kind of the place where you see symmetra more than any other part uh any other map in the game so uh would it be a surprise if we saw that we could see some winston but i would expect to see some form of ball comp yeah and looks like uh we're seeing some very interesting hovers right now asto is actually hovering that Zarya. So Zarya Ball is something we did talk about, and uh, you know it should be interesting seeing uh, most of the. I, I'm feeling like the bubbles will mostly go in at in Adex to kind of protect them from, I guess, Itami or any type of CC. So Asda shouldn't have a big, you know, shouldn't have a problem building out this ultimate, uh, the energy charge to really beam down people and melt them as quickly as possible. Yes, we uh, will see the Symmetra TPs, but they won't stay on them for permanently. They'll swap off, so we will see the clo very close to bear comps. Only difference is being this off tank. Uh, one Zarya, one Sigma. As you see in the back, though, Adax goes in, but Reborn off the side manages to get a pick onto a Tommy. And a uh, sort of Tracer 1v1, then Adax follows up with a kill on the Sev as well. And uh, kind of just, uh, in all honesty, uh, Grubs just kind of went in very aggressive while the other side just set too passive and got taken down yeah that was definitely the question right there it was you know it was just basically the the fight a tug of war of aggression at that point and it looks like a volcanic does have that ability to just like turn that switch on go as aggressive as possible look for those you know 1v1s as much as possible to eliminate a player before the fight even starts yeah, a uh, big thing though is that Tommy's gonna be moving off this Echo onto a McCree. Trying to take the Echo out of the sky and put put a lot of damage uh pressure onto this tracer, but Adax is the one being pressured currently, forced back to his team, which allows Grubs to move up and north to get the kill there onto Report. He's gonna find a second north, getting the value he needs on this tracer before finally getting taken down by Cam, but I think it's gonna be a bit a bit too little too late. Cam does commit the transcendence as Sam tries to boop him off but does not manage to. Atami takes down Reborn. So now only two players alive and this will be the flip over for Grubs. Oh, a very good fight from Grubs right there. North definitely shining very bright in that last fight. Just pulling their team ahead. Getting that beautiful, beautiful pick at the very beginning. And now look at this. Sev has a ultimate. Transcendent is ready. And on the other side, we're looking at Rebone with a Pulse Bomb. So expect a stick on the Zanyara to just to bait out this Transcendence. 
Yeah, as you see, the Transcendence gets thrown out very early on there. And the Graviton uh, Surge does get eaten. Four takes it out of the fight. And that was the biggest win condition for the side of Grubs. And now we see the duplicate committed as Sev does manage to get taken down. North throws the Pulse Bomb into the wall. Very good value out of that one. As this is a player advantage now going the way of Volcano. Uh, volcanic as we see reborn getting multiple kills come popping off and now this is looking all but done as this should be a flip over yeah that that was a very interesting play style from the side of grubs right there so once you have your transcendence burned that early into the fight you have to play aggressive to get any value out of it and the first value we saw was the graviton eden from the side of four and that's a huge win condition from the side of grubs but they just did not utilize it by getting more eff efficient being efficient on these eliminations and getting them done yeah we see a rally though <clears throat> committed very early as the mines are going to be dropped in the back line trying to find any kills but nothing quite yet as north is looking to take down Addix, but he goes in a bit aggressive and is forced out uh, as they're finally taking space there's a tommy with the flashbang does manage to take down reborn shred said it's pop from cam to keep stuff alive from that diva bomb but sam gets eliminated there from reborn uses sticky mines very effectively as uh, we're called as they do have a couple ultimates instead of grubs do as it's homie with another kill there onto reborn T second kill on him this fight is the pulse swap stack from north it's great managed to take down ranter but reborn has found three kills with that four ranter putting his team on the back so far and it's going to keep his team in this here and it looks like this he may have done enough to bring him over the line on night market wow that, that was definitely, I think, a very good back and forth fight we've seen for the last time. A lot of kills being distributed properly. And like you talked about, the stick from North was beautiful on that opposing Mercy, eliminating that huge pile of healing. But it was just too late at that point. You know, by that time, I feel like Grubs has the potential to really upset right here and take over Volcanic. But it, they're just not as efficient when it comes to cleaning up kills as Volcanic are showing us that they could definitely achieve there's a lot of times where their win condition from grubs there's different ultimates being invested early but the just the commitment wasn't there so i think if grubs could really just you know pile down hunker down and get those commit commitments right and be more focused fired they could definitely come in uh, come here on top in village right now i mean gardens my bad yeah, Garden, uh, our next point here. See what they're able to do. You see the balls going uh, back and forth, putting a lot of pressure on them. As Reborn, uh, looking to fight something happen. Is most of the team, though, is going to be moving over to this uh, opposite side in this small room, and it's putting a lot of pressure there onto Asdo. But he's staying alive for now. Uh, so they're kind of been forced into this small room, as the point will be unlocking, but Adex is being taken down very low, but a nice dive there from Asdo does manage to take down Sev, and gives his team the player advantage, as they're moving on to the point now, uh, putting pressure on Sam, forcing him away, which means they should manage to get the cap there, and they will, and that um, kill on Sam will force a reset. Yeah, and this is what I was really talking about. You know, Asda was literally in their backline the entire time and just taking up so much space, allowing their team so much space. But, you know, the Grubs were just not able to commit to that kill and just eliminate Asda. But they do come back here, and we might be seeing another recontest right here for the side of Grubs. Yeah, they're going to try to go in aggressive. The rest has been burned kind of early in this fight, but Atami's taking them very low. He does manage to stay alive by dipping around the corner, but the uh, Sticky Mines... Managed to take down Sam, so player advantage already going the way of Volcanic, and the um, Wrecking Ball very important in these uh, team fights. It's just not there as <laughs> uh, a waste blinks off the edge, but manages oh. to get back in time as 8x, though, does boop off Mo. So that's a, a phenomenal uh, kills there as they do manage to hold on 50% now for Volcanic. Yeah, and this is just going to snowball out of hand as we move on to this game for Control Center. Look at this percentage building. We're already at 50 plus percentage and uh, you know, we're looking at Volcanic with four plus ultimates, pretty much uh, four ultimates coming into this fight. So Grubs need to play really carefully. Sev needs to hold on to the Transcendence and somehow they need to burn Cam's Transcendence to win this fight. Yeah, but uh, Cam... Managed to get up, but he picked there with a very nice volley. Just takes down North and Sam goes in before his team is even alive. So it's just forced. They need to reset quickly. Otherwise, they won't even get a final fight. Oh, no. They're just getting staggered right here. I believe the D.Va. Oh, no, I was hoping the D.Va huh. would get staggered, but no. Just this quick little kill. And look at the ult all the ultimates still being piled on. No nothing much was used. Oh, oh my so God. aggressive. 
That's a yeah. very aggressive ultimate. Their spawn can't be. They're trying to keep them from touching. It looks like it may work. 95%. I'm not sure if anybody will manage to make the point, but as soon as I say that, uh, the D.Va has. Oh, the, no. I mean, the Wrecking Ball. The D.Va Bomb gets thrown on a point. Does not find anything, Cow Effer. So they will be contested for now. The Trent Sentence comes out. Their North manages to pick up the first of many kills his team needs as the Counter Trent Sentence does come out from Sev. Trying to keep his team alive for now. But Cam does manage to take down one. A Tommy who has now switched over to the Doomfist does manage to take down Rancer, so they will not have the Transcendence for this fight. But this is still looking good here for the side of Grubs. The, I mean, uh, Volcanic, excuse me. This would need to a miracle, and it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Uh, Reborn is definitely a name. We've been seeing repeat a lot right here. Getting so much value on this Doomfist coming out. Look at this. Just picking off target one by one. And now four will be the last person standing between them and Volcanic securing this map and just like that we've seen volcanic show a lot of aggression we talked about how these teams are very aggressive and they know what they're doing especially the fact that they 3 0'd their opponents last week but i was not expecting this much aggression coming out from the side of volcanic uh grubs looked fantastic but i think when it comes to the uh, you know just target selection and being very efficient in killing their targets as quickly as possible volcanic are just excelling them in every single possible way at this moment yeah so far it just has looked like a uh it just looks like volcanic is just better uh when it comes to their team play they're they do a really good job at even in these situations where grubs are trying to reset they were doing a really good job at diving onto targets and kind of um staggering them in a lot of situations or getting kills before a fight even got to really start so Good, good stuff there from Volcanic on first map. But we will be moving on to our next map. Um, this will be Grub's map pick. Um, so that should be interesting. You know, coming in Grub's map, it should be really interesting to see what map they really go with coming out. Um, but I, I think one player to really highlight from the last round that we've seen so far, I think Cam, Cam has been a very, very deadly sleeper. We talked about, you know, Joe, you mentioned how Zenyatas will really thrive in coming into this composition because how much damage output comes from Zenyatas and the, you know, just the value they bring with Transcendence and Discord Orbs in many different fights. I think Cam was a outstanding player. No matter what we've seen, every single time you know we're seeing you know cam just die, getting these early kills super quickly that just really decimates the fight there are multiple times taking out north before you even the fight started once you lose your tracer that's a lot of damage and a lot of flank that just you know perishes from your team player right there you know once you lose your tracer you don't have any backline pressure there's nothing you know there's a lot of missing and not to mention you're a one player down so i think you know if they could kind of tie those knots and go move as a unit with the team and be more precise with the target calls i think it'll be a fantastic game they'll give us definitely take us all the way at the end to you know map five yeah, but we're not at map five yet. We are on. We're getting ready for map two, which will be escort. Uh, a lot of really good options there. Uh, just it, I think it comes more. The map selection always comes down to what comp they want to run. It's going to be Dorado actually. Uh, so map we don't see a whole Ooh. lot, but it's a very. Uh, it's very good for Ball Sigma. Uh, I think it's one of the few maps in the game where I believe Ball Sigma can get a lot of value. Uh, Ball Ball Deep though, I think is still superior due to the fact that there's so many high grounds that Diva can control. Um, but uh, interesting uh, map selection, to say the least. Uh, uh, Volcanic Force will be choosing the defense, but yeah. I do want to uh, mention something. Uh, I don't know if you're looking at this, but uh, from what we have so far stats-wise, Cam actually doubled the damage of Sev in the last round in Zenyatta gameplay. That's Sev had 4,000 4, damage while Cam was doing 8,000. Not to mention, Cam didn't even die once. That yeah. entire map. So that is ridiculous. As a Zenyatta player, holding that, you know, holding that much damage and, you know, the potential, uh, that much value is like uh, really amazing. So good stuff from Cam right there. And I think uh, it's definitely the aggression definitely shows from both teams. There were definitely, you know, moments where we've seen Itame and North shine, uh, you know, even for that grab eat was just beautiful. You know, eating as those grab but it was just you know not really pushing those advantages more and more and making you know these plays more commitments i think that's what really you know makes the difference right here but you know 
I, I like the fact that we're seeing some of this because we talked about how these are two top teams and it's really going to come down to the team play. And it's actually that that's actually what we're seeing. Not 1v1s, just the team play difference from both sides. Yeah, the for sure as um as we're just waiting for all the teams to get ready. They have a couple of minutes before they are forced to uh, play the game. But <laughs> but I mean, yeah. I mean Dorado should be fun to watch. It's, yeah, Dorado's it's a great. A, yeah, it's always an interesting map, especially the first push right there from off the spawn. I always like watching that because like there's just so many ways teams could uh, tackle that. Whether you're attacking or defending, you know, there's you have multiple flank uh, flank options. You also have good rotation options as teams. You also have you know a lot of verticality. So when it comes to Echo Farah, I'm pretty sure I'm I can guarantee you we're not going to see any Farah. Uh, but Echo, we really could, drives. we we could, we could. Fair's, see, Fair's pretty good right now. Uh, I think see, though, Echo time, just. I think in a lot of situations though, Echo is just better. Uh, every time I say, you know, oh, we could see a Pharaoh because the map has a lot of verticality. The teams just don't do it. So I've given up my hope. You know, it's it's gone out the window. <laughs> but I'm just going to hope to see the Echo. But yeah, I do agree with you because Echo. I I think when it comes to splash damage and potential like damage overall, I think Echo has more precision. Uh, obviously, if you're a very good fire player, you could do that. But I think Echo just gets more value, you know, just yeah, able to just right. fly up and just carpet bomb the back line and, and then, you know, use your beam to just finish off any more kills. You know, it's just much more efficient rather than having a Farah be extremely good at the game. Not only that, and just hit multiple body shots to really do the damage that's needed. And, you know, usually you don't want to run a lot of splash damage because then the healers could, you know, really heal them super quickly and get a lot of ultimate charge. So if you're not executing kills, you don't want to do too much splash damage and give the, you know, opponent healers all the ultimate charge they need. But, ooh, look at that. A lot of fire coming in. We're seeing Widow from the get-go reborn versus a Tommy. This is a matchup I want to see. Yeah, I remember at the uh, when Roloch was first introduced into Overwatch, something that was really really prevalent on this map is the team that had the best Widowmaker always won. Um, and we've seen it less and less over time, mainly due to Widow buff, uh, nerfs and buffs of other characters. But it looks like you'll see Widow from both sides, and then uh, Bald Diva is going to be the uh, calling card for both sides. But on the defense, we see a Tracer all on the attack. We see an Echo. So interesting to see how the different comps function. Yeah, I, I want to see how this really goes on. Interesting enough that I'm mostly known Frozen as a hit scan player, so it's inter interesting to see that they're running the Echo instead of the Widow, but Echo should be a much harder pick to run here because of Itami's Widow, but look at that, Frozen getting the first kill on Reborn. Yeah, Reborn played a very uh, individualistic angle and just cost his life for it, but see the high ground now? Tr uh, being pressured by Grubs. A lot of pressure uh, on this on this tank line of Volcanic as they're trying to push forward the cart, but there's just so much pressure on them. You see the uh, Volcanic starting to fall back now, waiting for uh, their players to respawn to get kind of a reset. But you see Adex in the back spin, a lot of pressure onto Atami, but he's going to manage to stay alive for now and actually cost him his life. Reborn, though, looks for a bit of a flank, uh, a waste, excuse me, and he does manage to pick up a first kill. He looking for something else, but he's getting dove by Atami. This is got to cost him his life as well. So this is a one-for-one -one trade that I would normally say is in favor of the defensive side, but it's a very, uh, very slow fight here. Yeah, definitely. And it, 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 very interesting, the fact that, you know, we've seen Reborn take that... Good pulse that, Oh, that's a very good pulse ball. Take that angle to kill Itami because Itami could be easily rezzed and then their team will just collapse on you. So interesting to see that. And look at that, just tearing up everything, getting the support from the side of volcanic yeah we do see uh two kills though come come back for volcanic and we see adex going very aggressive in the back line as well so this is not so this is just a very uh it's a very uh very messy fight crappy Super to messy. say the least yeah, yeah uh, very messy. i think though with these kills that go in the way of volcanic i think we need to see some form of reset 
Yeah, uh, we've seen some crucial uh, kills coming out. And uh, while that, you know, very, very nonchalant fight was going on for so long, some ultimates are up from the side of the grubs. So there you go. Force bomb coming out. This might be huge. Oh, it is. It takes down a Ranter, which means no Resurrect is available. Oh, both the mercy. counter bomb takes down the other Mercy. So no Mercy in this fight for either side. The Transcendence uh, out for both flex supports as the Mines are going to get thrown onto the point by the duplicated... Uh, not the duplicate, the uh, Wrecking Ball is the duplicated Tracer has a Pulse Bomb, but it ends up getting eaten. So no, no, com nothing to come out of that so far. Uh, the Kark though is still marching forward as there's not a lot of players for Volcanic uh, left in this fight. As Adex tries to get away, but ends up going down as... But this is still very scrappy. Kills going back as the Pulse Bomb's good yeah. as well. And then a shot Ooh. from uh, Reborn God does manage to get one. So this is, looks like they're going to hold it actually. Yeah, a very good retaliation from the side of Volcanic, like really understanding the, I, I guess the win potential right here, the fight win potential. It, it definitely, you know, Reborn coming in clutch, right? They're getting those three kills. And I, I was just about to mention, that was a very expensive fight if you're Grubs right there. They, they, you know, really invested all in it right now. And the fact that they weren't able to close out that point is very, very detrimental. And this might just bite them back. Because look at this now. Oh no, Reborn. Oh, oh, brother, he, what happened? He grappled over the edge. I think he thought the sights were up, but uh, appears they were, and so it ends up getting, uh, costing himself his life as the Resurrect does come through onto uh, Seth, who's the only one to die so far in this situation. Cam trades back onto Sam now, uh, but Cam does uh, cost his life. There is a Resurrect there, however, as, in the, as the Wrecking Ball putting a lot of pressure on the back line. Only 15 seconds left on the clock. They do try to make something happen there. You see the Mercio for both sides. Ranchers going after Frozen. He's not able to find the kill, though, as the mines get thrown down, but there's a Transcendence there to keep Seth alive and break a lot of the mines. You see, contesting the point is Adex. Ooh. True God does manage to take down RMM. So uh, the Resurrect, which would be coming online soon, is all of us is now gone. Adex does trade out, but Frozen uh, gets one as well. Diva Ball, this needs to be good. It does not get anything, though. A duplicate comes through onto a Mercy. Not sure what that's about. That Diva Bomb, though, is going to hit Frozen, so we'll be popped out of his duplicate. The Widowmakers from both sides looking for something. I haven't been able to get anything so far. The Pulse Bomb does get a stick, but no kill. Reborn man shake out a Tommy, however. These trades are so back and forth. This is still anybody's fight. Yeah, and looks like they. I think Volcanic will finally give up this point, and it, at this point, Grub should be able to take this no matter what. And just like that, we hear the announcement: Payload have reached, and now Renter is in a very, very weird position. But don't mention that. Just pulls out the Glock, takes on Sev, and <laughs> RMM takes down Renter. So these are some very bloodthirsty support players we're seeing from both sides. They don't want you know, nothing to do with team healing, nothing like that. Just you know, killing each other as much as possible. But this is a good pick from the side of Grubs right now because Renter will have a much longer path to walk back. And this should give them some window to actually push this card a little bit far, at least under the bridge. Now, if you look at the ultimates, I think Sev's, ult uh, Sev's next um, transcendent should be the big key right here. But can also pay attention to Cam and Adex. Adex also almost has a mine. So if they could land out the mines before Sev gets the transcendence, they'll get a lot of value out of that. Yeah, for sure. As uh, Sam on the high ground gets forced on back, uh, as Directly Ball in the back trying to put a lot of pressure good. there onto uh, Sev. The transcendence though from Cam is forced out Renter. very well. Advice. Ranter picks up another kill on this Mercy. He's putting in so much uh, deep uh, damage in on a hero that you wouldn't really expect it from. But Sev, the uh, support that is meant to do damage does manage to get a kill there as well. So a one for one trade here for both sides as the mines are going to get dropped on the cart. Uh, Transcend is there though, keep everybody alive through them and break a lot of the mines as Adax is barely gets away with his life as uh, the Pulse Wild comes on through but doesn't result in any kills but the uh, volley from camp manages to find one. You see Sam is still holding on to these mines though, which could be crucial here as this fight goes on. Yeah, we only have 40 seconds left so I think there's these, you know, the mines will really come in handy right about now but look at that, Reborn getting another kill. Eliminating Seb. That's a lot of damage and healing gone. I think they need to reset right about now. Yeah, it looks like they uh, will do so. So we'll see a reset. They have a lot of ultimates coming into this fight. Interested to see how they use them. 
yeah, look at Sam. Sam has you know mines ready. Frozen also has a duplicate, and RMM has a Valkyrie just in case things get too dicey. But on the other side, Asta has a beautiful bomb ready to just you know blow up anybody in their path. So really want to see how they utilize this and in, in what order. Yeah, as the Diva Bomb gets thrown out, doesn't result in any kills. Duplicate from Frozen is going to be thrown in onto the Wrecking Ball, but immediately gets popped out. Transcendence is there, though, from Cam. Uh, keeping his team alive for as long as possible, as we will be reaching overtime. Asdo actually gets the Mechner's call from Atomic Ooh, that, that is support line. That is massive. Removes the supports from the equation, which makes this attack a whole lot easier as Reborn's Pulse Bomb. Uh, kind of the last hope gets eaten up as we may just see a second point cap, especially if they can get these DPS who are in their back line. Yeah, and I think this should be easy cap right here. Losing both of your, you know, sup uh, support players is just a lot of damage and a lot of heals gone. And I really have to say that was a more of a positional mistake than uh, Itami popping off. Props to Itami for landing that uh, beautiful pulse bomb. But at one point, you know, Cam and Renter both were just separated from the entire team by themselves, which just made landing that beautiful Pulse Bomb even more valuable and easy. And now, you know, if you look at the ultimate, all, the only thing we're looking at is Reborn's Deadeye, but I don't think it will get a lot of value. As I say, that just gets destroyed by Frozen yeah. Stickies. Yeah, did you get the Resurrector? So he uh, will be back as a minute left on the clock. As the uh, Mercy Ult's gonna come out, but the Diva Bomb's gonna get thrown Ooh. in the back, and results to kill on Cam. Ranther barely gets out with his life. Um, as the DMAC actually comes through as well, as Four is gonna pick up a double kill in this fight, kind of try to bring his team across the finish line here. We're gonna be reaching the 30 second mark any time now, as this will be a last ditch effort to contest. Yeah, and you know, and this right here, not a lot of ultimates from the sign of volcanic. So this is looking very prominent from this uh, for Grubs right here. Sev has a transcendence just in case something goes south. And now look at that four eating another ultimate. That's I think his fourth pulse bomb eat this game. I mean, I this man's been so. on fire. Uh, we see transcendence come through. Reborn's gonna, I mean, away six suits. He's gonna be popping as high noon. No kills off the back of the duplicated diva bomb. Does not find anything either. But away does on the side to, takes down Sev. The mines on a uh, point causing some issues though. As re as uh, away manages to take down the support like very early on in this fight. As this is looking good here for the defensive side. As Atame gets one, but then he, he gets taken down. So this is gonna be the end of this. Uh, of the attack wow what a clutch right there you know if you look at it paper that should have been the point third point take from the side of grubs they had the ultimates to work with they had the numbers advantage and just the entire ultimate economy was on their side but reborn coming clutch and uh uh you know really going head to head right there doing so much damage so really like to see that getting all those crucial kills and i just realized we have two reborns here it's a very very um confusing <laughs> on the side of okay okay so the... reborn is uh, the the one that's just called reborn, yeah, yeah. reborn. reborn. the other one's away we have a waste okay there you go away so why, why do you do that why did you uh, have to do that? people they, they just i don't know why? people like to play on okay. i think it's funny it's not funny um, no not it's definitely not, not the casters. Casters. Yeah, definitely not to the casters. But other than that, back to the game. I I, I think that was a very good um, uh, last-ditch effort from the side of Volcanic. And this is the Volcanic I'm talking about. They are just so strong, especially when they need to make a play happen. Right there, it was desperation moment. It looked like they were not going to make it. Just those, like straggling kills from the side of a waste really just turns things around but this is also something i want to mention the fire we've seen from grubs right there itame frozen and oh my god four playing out of their damn mind eating so many pulse bombs and just getting that beautiful bomb this is what we want to see from uh, want to see from grubs more commitment more team plays right here don't be afraid and that's what they're looking to make right and make a statement right here as they defend this point yeah they're gonna be trying their best to uh hold the point the best they can as uh, see they're just gonna set up on the high ground most teams set up on uh atami though still running the mccreeby so i'm gonna uh, run that uh, a lot on map one see what he's able to do with it there but uh, Oasis is gonna be the one with the opening pick sam move from the equation losing your wrecking ball early can be detrimental to these type of compositions as yeah, Oasis like picks up a double uh he's on fire and this should be a uh, allow them to roll through 
most, if not all, of first point. Yeah, Sam was a bit caught up, caught out of position right there. You know, both they were just both in front of a waste and frozen at the time being. Uh, I'm not frozen, reborn at the time being. So really interesting. Remember, uh, the shields did get nerfed for you know ball right here. So you are not as tanky anymore. So you can't take those one v ones or two v ones anymore as prominently, especially with DPS. But look at this, another retaliation coming out. Sam getting the opening kill. Yeah, Sam does find one as Rantera soon to follow, but the trades are coming back. Three kills in the favor of Volcano. So this is not an unwinnable fight, especially with them committing this transcendence. And now, only two players alive. So this will be a hold. It was uh, looking dicey at first, but they do manage to pull it off at the end. Oh, no. The, oh, no! the initial attack the initial attack was just so fast and so effective from the side of Volcanic. They just had the better ultimate economy. Look at this. They literally have five ultimates on board and the only ultimate they don't have was the one that just got used by Cam and now Asdo is just doing Asdo things, taking Itame down and look at this chase coming out from everybody from the side of Volcano. They don't want anyone to reset properly. They want to stagger this team of grubs as much as possible to throw them off and kind of deny them any ultimate charge. If you're looking at we're only looking at two ultimates or three ultimates at this point. So let's see how this fight goes. I'm, this is going to be a very explosive fight. Yeah, it could be a very explosive as the first ult is going to be used. It's going to be a duplicate. Uh, Reborn's going to be heading over onto the Tracer. Pulse Bomb gets thrown in the back, but Sev is going to counter with his Transcendent, so he's managed to stay alive. Frozen fights one, then hits a 180 to duplicate the Diva when he had around 40 health left. He is still in this fight, but uh, Reborn's going to be knocked out of his duplicates. The Diva Bomb gets thrown now. Does not find any kills, but I don't know how much it's going to matter. Mo does find one there on Taranter. Um, but they're going to need more of where that came from. Adax is falling very low and will finally be eliminated as Reborn. Reborn picks up a double kill. He's trying to keep his team in this fight. So it's a two on two on point. Uh, but it looks like the uh, um, offensive side should be able to let me come out on top. The both are demec, but Oase does end up getting taken down. So I think the def uh, defense will finally hold. What a crazy fight. Yeah, that was definitely a crazy fight. A lot of ultimates being thrown out there. It was flashy. Definitely have to give credit to the aggression from the side of Volcanic. Uh, Adex and Reborn were just literally in the back line, almost at the other corner of the map, forcing Sep to blow that transcendence early. And now, as we talked about it, Sam get gets another kill on Cam. Yeah, Cam removed very early. Asdo uh, gets demacked with the help of the Pulse Bomb, though. So, good good start to this fight. Uh, as the defensive side trying to go and trying to find some early kills really trying to take down this baby diva denying the remake but on the high ground now is the support uh is the support line they do get forced out however but as you know, finally removed from the equation so no more baby diva in this fight as frozen is going to pick up a double kill in there and the defensive side is looking good to hold i think this should be a reset for the time again uh, Frozen doing, uh, getting, applying so much value right there with this, you know, with this pick for, you know, using the duplicates, using the beams, and also getting those kills with the sticky mines. I think the echo, echo was just so valuable from the side of Frozen right there. But other than that, you know, I really like how these teams are playing. A lot of focus are being shifted less to the tank and the ball, more to the Zenyatta players. And this is what you like to see. Zenyatta, we talked about how prominent they are right now. All the damage and all the healing they provide and look at all the ultimates right now from both sides i think this will be a, another hold from the side of defense yeah it's a very holdable fight as the duplicate comes through onto a wrecking ball but the transcendence is there so tom is going to come up with the opening pick there onto a waste there's the transcendence uh, from cam trying to keep his team alive it does uh, by time and space for the resurrect as reborn in the back lines manages to take down sev so no more Zenyatta for this. Is Reaport's going to pick up a double? He's been getting so much value on the sack. He's continuing this in this fight. The Diva Bomb, I think, got a DMAC. Actually, no, it did not. Does The Diva Bomb did not find anything. But Frozen does, but it's going to be too little too late as the rest of his team is falling. And this may be, this should be enough for a second point cap. Yeah, it definitely should be enough. I don't think there should be a recontest from the side of the defense they don't have a lot of ultimates to work with but the thing is that this this retaliation here will be so so risky if they lose it they pretty much lose the entire third point 
Yeah, uh, but Reborn gets taken down very early. Defo Bombs takes down Froze. It nearly took down RMM and Sev, but they both barely managed to stay alive. The Pulse Bomb, though, near, uh, once again, so close. RMM's barely gone away with his life multiple times. Now, a time with the Pulse Bomb, though, does manage to find Cam. The Wrecking Balls, both are going for the spin to win. It's a question of which one will come out on top, as it looks like the attacking side will. Not a lot of players left for the defense. Uh, 30 seconds left, but cart very close to capping second. Yeah, that was definitely a you know reta good retaliation. Uh, they were able to just kind of you know equalize the ultimate economy, but that's about it from the side. You know, if you look at it, it time is just buying as much as time possible. I think. Oh, a they, lot. Yeah, they. I think they want to hit overtime here, but nope. Nope, they will, they will not even try it. But look at this. Um, the ultimate difference is, you know, really not prominent. The fact that Itami was there giving out so much ultimate the charge. Now, Asto and Reborn both have their ultimates to work with in this next push. And none from the side of this Grub Squad. So, if they could eliminate Sev in this next fight, they, this will be a free win. Yeah, Asto uh, gets a nice kill there onto Sam very into the fight. However, uh, good, good start for the attack. Uh, Sam will return very quickly now as he has just respawned. As Reborn does manage to take down his Echo counterparts, there's a really big duel happening on the high ground. Uh, most of the team is clashing while the Tracer going after the other Tracer there around this mini on the bottom, and uh, Oasis is going to be the one to come out on top. Reborn's going to use the duplicate, however, onto the Diva as the Diva Bomb's going to be thrown in. Two Diva Bombs from the same side, and they've managed to find one kill frozen removed from the fray. The Mines are going to get thrown out onto the point of transcendence. Is there from uh, camp, keeping his al team alive for as long as possible. Frozen is now switching over onto the Doomfist to contest the point whenever he manages to get back. But Sam is down. RMM soon to follow. D this Diva Bomb, though, needs to come up big, and it manages to find one. And Tommy finds one with the Pulse Bomb as well, right before he lost his life. The Mines get thrown out as we see a switch from Sev over onto this Baptiste. <coughs> Trying to stall for as long as possible, but I don't know what they're going to be able to do. Yeah, and this is a very back and forth and beautiful stick coming out from the side of Oase. And the entire fight, Oase was just applying so much pressure to the back line. And they were able to do so much for their team. Frozen? And now, Frozen is shining bright like a yeah, star. Fr yeah, Frozen's picking up two. And this defense was looking kind of lost. They were looking kind of out of it. But now, this looks very holdable. Cam follows as well. There's only three players alive for Volcanic. It looked like they were going to take a 2-0 lead very easily. But Frozen comes out of the spawn on the Doomfist and picks up a double. And the rest of his team is there to help him out. As now, there's only uh, there's only a waste and Adex. The Diva Bomb gets thrown Ooh. in as a ditch effort. It does pick up a double kill there at the end. But... The team was already down and the game was already over as Grubs are going to tie up the series in a very unpredictable fashion. Definitely an un unpredictable fashion right there. I, I I definitely wasn't expecting that. It was a very good retaliation both times. It, it looked all done and gone. You know, both teams did, did not have a lot of ultimates to work with, especially in the defense. And, you know, while I was looking at a waste just being the menace he was at the back line there was a lot of straggling kings coming out frozen just kind of picked up the slack for his team getting those really quick slams you know i think doomfist is a very good pick right there especially at the very last point because there's a lot of walls and they're close quarters so you, you don't even really have to charge up your punch you just have to charge it halfway and hit somebody across the wall and they you will most likely kill them so those crucial picks right there on the tracer and the echo and especially on the opposing ball just really brought them back so good stuff from grubs and this is the this is the grubs i was talking about when we're watching the first map right here we're talking about how grubs has the potential they have the player they know what they're doing they just need to commit more if uh, commit more into their plays and be efficient about it and this is the grubs we've seen in dorado that was their map pick they won it and now we're tied up between grubs and volcanic and this is the match i want to see i talked about how this could go to match five and i think we're on that track joe what do you think yeah, map five is, uh, does not look um, impossible, especially if they ke keep trading uh, map selections. But if they do, it will end up going in Volcanic's favor since they uh, got the opening map. But we will be heading over onto uh, uh, Score, And before we were even, before they, like, as soon as they got asked what map, they immediately said, uh, they immediately said King's Row. So, knew what they wanted, mm. and uh, that's where we will be heading. We do have a I've substitution, though. Uh, Ooh, Dizzy is see. heading in for Attics for Volcanic. 
Uh, Addicts was, of course, the wrecking ball player. Uh, Dizzy is a somewhat copied Reinhardt, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe they did show a, a good amount of Reinhardt coming in last last week. So this should be interesting. So, and we've seen Renter really go for the Lucio at the very end right there. I don't know if you were noticing, but Renter was on the Lucio. Might be for just a rollout, you know, quick rollout, but I think they could play that Lucio. So we might, we're definitely going to see we're definitely going to see a brawl composition coming out for Volcanic, and I believe they should. Uh, I believe they should. You know, since is Volcanic to map pick, it, it will be Grubs. You know, side pick. So I think they will stay on this defense side. Uh, it's very interesting to see how they play this out. But North, I think North Itami are doing a fantastic job as a DPS. I, so far, it's been always been look like just the DPS, DPS difference and just how effectively the dps are you know putting out dishing out all the values for their team because every time we've seen these pushes come out the dps are coming out which whichever dps dps is putting in the most work usually looks like the team that's excelling ahead and that's usually the case but tank difference is where it really shines king's row i think so interesting to see how dizzy goes up against most likely sam playing that ball and four being on that diva yeah uh, for sure. Uh, our, uh, another swap, though, comes in for Bros. You mentioned how North and Atami put in a lot of work. Uh, last map, though, it was uh, Atami and Frozen, but Frozen is getting taken out. Frozen, of course, had that big clutch um, towards the end of it. But North is going to come in trying to um, add something else to the DPS line. Not entirely sure uh, what they want out of him that they weren't getting out of um, Frozen. So, interesting to see what they're gonna be doing here as Ooh. we're just waiting for both teams to be ready as G G uh, grubs are going with the uh attack <laughs> attack say interesting interesting usually huh so it, it it should be interesting if do you know we might just come go back to we most likely will see a lot of ryan zarya or even might see some ryan diva so it should be interesting if if some team uh, teams are uh, you know willing to opt to the Ryan Diva composition, it, sh it should be interesting to see how much ultimate charge Divas could negate from the opposing Ryan because you know it's all about if you're playing Diva into a Ryan Diva uh, Ryan composition, opposing Ryan composition, it's all about how effectively you could eat the fire strike. You know, fire strikes gives that's like the bread and butter for Ryan's ultimate building ultimate. So it should be interesting to see how these macro little play things play out. And um, yeah, it, uh, North is uh, I believe a very good um. Deep, also a very good hit scan player. So interesting to see how they will utilize it. Maybe we're we're expecting a widow, but um, I'm I'm not really sure. Not really sure how this is going to go. But definitely excited to see what comes. I think the R's are rolling in the chat, so we should be getting to our game very soon. Yeah, we should be hopping in as uh, as quickly as possible. Uh, we have a minute left before we hop in. Uh, so, I, I'm excited, though, for the rest of the series. A really good start so far. We've seen some very good Overwatch, and I'm excited to see what else the series can bring. Yeah, and, the, you know, after all, these are the two most favorite, you know, the two favorite teams coming out from the community. Definitely talked about the ratings-wise. They had the highest rating of all the teams. Interesting to see. And, uh, you know, I think Volcanic, there's a lot of also competition, wow. just really good competition going on. We talked to, I remember asking Volcanic last week that w which team are they really looking forward to facing? And the first answer without a hesitation with rubs. So, uh, you know, obviously you could tell these teams are on par. They have great players. And it's just all really comes down to the small things and how the teams, you know, really play and adapt to each other. And this is still, remember, guys, this is a very, oops, oh. looks like um, we got taken uh, out of the game, something probably, um, you know. And I hope. Yeah, so it was. <laughs> um, I'm joking all of you until. <laughs> It's really interesting. Uh, but yeah, looks like uh, the swap didn't come through. Grubs were attacked, but they were got put into defense. So that's why. But yeah. other than that, um, you know, as I was saying, these two teams, it really, it's really going to come about how they really affect and adapt 
to each other's play style. Like we talked about, this is literally just the second week of Flux Cup. So as the series progress, the teams will just get better and better and better. And that's what you want to see. We This is more so a staple, like a staple gameplay at this point where maybe go to the playoffs, maybe in the semifinals when these teams meet again. Hopefully they will. We could look back into this game and be like, oh, look at them. You know, how much they have changed and how they're, you know, decided to go on and playing each other. So it should be really interesting. And looks like um, a quick little swap coming out from the side. And we should be going in soon, Joe. Yeah, uh, yeah. Grubs called attack. <laughs> and and Intel, uh, uh, Intel swapped them to put Grubs on defense. But it's okay. We still love him. Uh, yeah, we still love Intel. It's okay, Intel. You you try your best. Yep, uh, we're here to back you up, brother. Don't worry. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, we we got all the sites sorted out, and we will finally be getting into it. Uh, so a bit of a delay, but we're getting into our third map. Uh, and this is a very crucial map in the series. Whichever team manages to take this will be put on match point. Yeah, and not to mention. King's Row holds a lot of value as a map itself. You know, uh, King's Row is always probably I would probably say the most um, loved map when it comes to Overwatch. Uh, just uh, you know, I I love playing King's Row. Uh, it's just a, I feel like a very balanced map when it comes to um, teams how they want to play it, different things you could do, so many different you know playstyles you could go for. But look at this, both sides are going for this Ryan Zarya composition, and we're seeing May from both sides. So, see, this is really interesting. They're running this Lucio, so it's more so, you know, about how, who could who could use the speed boost more effectively, whether it's to go, you know, go into the team and split them up, or just to disengage as quickly as possible. But Itame hovering over that Bastion, I'm pretty sure, I'm 99.9% .9 sure they're not going to run it. Yeah, I I don't know. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. These comps look pretty pretty decent. Of course, Hanzo's got a recent buff, so we will be seeing the Hanzo come out. No Widow trying to look for an opening pick, though. This May from both sides has kind of become a staple more recently on King's Row. Yeah, just the ability to use her wall to just kind of, you know, cut people, to cut the entire team in half is a big deal. And look at that. The wall's coming out right now. Yeah, the wall, uh, not, not too great, though. Just... Uh, does force on immortality field very early on, so immortality used before the fight even really begins. But reborn, manages to take down Sev. Sev uh, on this Ana, trying to trying to mix it up a bit and cost him his life. The counterpin comes through as well, and it makes Sam fall down. That's going to be the uh, reset. Yeah, that was a very awkward position from the side of Grubs right there. You know, being on inside that hotel is probably not the best thing especially when your may wall doesn't work out you want to disengage as quickly as possible because they could easily just speed boost inside the hotel cut you off and do you know just you know finish off whoever they see but look at this another window coming out probably will go to waste as they're everybody's just going to hide inside hotel yeah and they uh got a nice anti as well sev managed to get nice on the shatter there does not actually end up hitting anything as the defense is starting to crumble they're all falling down they uh try to engage in this room but ends up costing them their life as uh the anti day combined with some the nano boost and a you know, very charged up and angry four allowed them to get cap first point yeah that was a very aggressive shatter right there i think i think that shatter was quite um read quite obvious at uh, that time a point and then sam was able to block it immediately once that shatter went off it was easy from right there it was just a quick little speed boost and four being the high charge zarya they are you know just pushed on to oh that's shatter though uh, another one that does not connect as the defense just kind of rolls on over you they played kind of split there and ends up costing them their life and a reset yeah, resetting that coming in and volcanic look at the ultimates they have like for both teams a lot of blinking check marks right now so the next fight will be super super crucial i think may blizzard whichever team has the more effective blizzard will win this fight no matter what but don't sleep on itama's dragon right here yeah the yeah we see a grav dragon come through there's an immortality field but it gets bursted down very quickly and sam takes down his uh, reinhardt counterpart in dizzy and they're just gonna move on forward here they're not they're not gonna chase the kills though uh, playing smart trying to learn off their mistakes from the last fight 
Yeah, definitely not want, uh, do not want to do that. And now both teams are still holding on to Blizzard, but we have the Graviton Surge from the side of Volcanic right now. So this should be really interesting. Look at that. Every single ultimate inside of Volcanic. Yeah, a lot of ultimates for both sides, but the sound barrier from both sides uh, managed to keep everybody up for now. As Dizzy's frozen and anti and very low, but the Blizzard's going to be coming out from the side of uh, Oasis, and it freezes up the remaining players and lets them get the kills they need and the... Uh, and the defensive fold. Yeah, and, and I like, you know, I really like how Volcanic were approaching that. Just wanted to be play out, you know, the opposing Blizzard with the beat as quickly as possible and just answer back with their own. Not a lot of ultimates, uh, you know, invested, but pretty much the same uh, ultimates. But if you look at it, Grubs are still behind at the ultimate economy because they needed to use some of them quite early and now we're seeing the shatter battle again between dizzy and sam and it really comes down to whoever lands it hopefully they will connect something this time yeah we see a uh, ant matrix come out and the fire strike comes through but no kills the oh. shield gets dropped from dizzy right as the shatter comes down but nothing comes out of it a decent shatter though from dizzy as well and then the fire strike through the ant matrix allows him to take down sev and so not a lot of players left alive uh, and this will force another reset yeah, that was a very interesting play right there from Sam. I think the Sam just completely blanked out the fact that a waste is actually on that May. So Sam pushed super early, super aggressive into this squad of Volcanic who just kill hungry and all a waste had to do just separate him from his entire team using that May wall. Doesn't matter if Sam got a super good off shatter right there, it had no value. Yeah, as a very aggressive grab hits a lot of players, but there's an immortality to keep them up for now. You see, uh, uh, Asdo, excuse me, gets caught in an awkward situation, but he managed to stay alive. We do have a grab dragon, though, from the side of Grubs. There's the grab, there's the dragon, but there's a sound barrier for now, but it just gets burnt through and Dizzy falls. And the rest of the team is soon to follow, and we are just going to see another another push from the side of grubs and really interesting you know push coming out right there props to north using the wall to cut off any damage that will end come from cam's window so interesting enough nothing really gets passed on and north still has this blizzard to offer in this next push coming out uh sam was also building out a fire shutter so this looks quite <gasps> prominent from the oh. squad of grubs that wall was so nice there from North. It cuts off Asdo and keeps the um, keeps anybody from Volcanic from touching, which just buys them a lot of space out and very late kill there onto Dizzy. So they will get to the very end of King's Row before there's a recontest. Yeah, and uh, that play right there alone from that Grab Dragon and the two great walls we've seen from North really allowed their team from Grubs to build this ultimate economy. Uh, look at this. They're actually ahead of ultimate economy for the first time now ahead with almost two whole ultimates yeah we see a blizzard get thrown up the maywall is there a beautiful bubble on sam but it gets burnt through and he manages to take down he tries to pin out but throws it in take it down this is just gonna force a reset a uh, minute 50 left on the clock yeah, respect from both sides a lot of but and that was a quite expensive fight from the side of volcanic you know, they invested two ultimates right there and two key ultimates, uh, one of them being Blizzard. And now if you look at it, North is still holding on to theirs. So in this next attack, it ran, uh, you know, I, I think this should be the point for the side of Grubs right here. We're looking at a beat, we're looking at window, we're looking at shatter and a Blizzard that's North's been holding for a long time. Yeah, but North gets taken down immediately, throws out the Blizzard, and is just removed from the fight. A great shatter, though, but as the right before he got sent to the ground, sends out a right click and takes him down before him. The Zarya is going to pick up a double kill there. The Gravitas Surge and the uh, uh, Shatter are forced to be committed, and the pin comes through, and the defensive side does manage to hold, uh, despite some heroics from Flores. Have a paw. Ooh, 60 seconds remaining, and we have a pause right there um interesting enough uh i was taught you know we were talking about how this should be the fight for this squad of grubs but i think north was a bit too aggressive on that you know push right alone like the blizzard came out it bought some space but it really didn't catch anybody on that freeze so you don't want to aggress with that you know that going in mind but we are looking at still looking at a very very potent combo from the side of uh, grubs they still have the grab dragon combination right there so if if 
you know, they could just put out a lot of focus or even split off some members to bait out Cam's immortality field, that should be a very, very, you know, a very um, successful fight win for the side of Grubs because then once that immortality field is out, you could easily just Graviton Surge and Dragon all the way unless Renter beats, uh, you know, builds up their beat and by that time. It looks like we're still having, uh, getting the pause right down. I'm not it's, really sure it, what's the problem. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, the person who called the pause has said ready. I think we're just waiting for a ready from uh, Grubs. Yeah, definitely from the side. But th this should this retaliation from you know, the squad of Grubs should be quite interesting right. because, like we talked about, there's some very key ultimates coming up, and um, they have a very strong com combo. So uh, let's hope you know, the squad of Grubs could really just, you know, separate some uh, members from the side of Volcanic or even bait out Cam's immortality field because that's really what's stopping them from winning this fight with this Dragon and Graviton Surge combination. Yeah, as they're gonna be pushed up around the corner now, Graviton Surge gets thrown in, there's a Dragon Strike there, but the immortality field gets burnt down very quickly and Dizzy Ooh. once again very early on is uh it tommy picks up a triple kill great work there from him on the hanzo and i don't know if anybody's gonna be able to touch uh, i don't think so dizzy does try to touch but i think they'll they'll be able to kill him as quickly as possible and just like that 14 yes. seconds 13 seconds left so at, at least the, they at the uh -huh. end the lucio's <laughs> used the sound bearers at the same time i thought my audio had bugged <laughs> <laughs> but that, that's a good finish you know not the cleanest finish we've seen and definitely not you know a prominent finish you want but at least it's a finish nonetheless with 13 seconds left you know all they have to do now is prevent this squad of volcanic from taking the third point but that's easier said than done because as we have been watching volcanic are super aggressive and with this uh, uh wow another pause with this change coming out from uh, you know taking putting dizzy on the line i i think it, it should be interesting to see how they approach this whole scenario of running the brawl attack the the may brawl attack but I have to say, Sam has been actually doing a very d a good job of keeping up with Dizzy, despite showing us that he's mostly playing ball the entire time. So really got to give it to credit for all these players for just adapting as quickly as they are. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, so uh, not looks sure like, what the pause is about. Yeah, looks like we do have a pause coming in. <clears throat> and a new lobby owner. Uh, yeah, apparently I'm lobby host now or something. Uh, I don't know. Now, now it's all up to you. They're saying, "Ready, push that button, brother. You got to do it." I'm doing it. I'm, I I accidentally hit function instead of control, but that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. No problem. No harm was done. But hopefully, um, you know, we do have <laughs> the person in charge back soon. But other than that, talking about the game, um, it should be interesting because. They both teams look quite strong in this um in, in this map for um you know King's Row. Usually this is the most balanced map ta if we're talking about it, and Brawl it just thrives in this map. Being that May Brawl is just so strong at this point, I think this will be a very good match. I still I, I'm still very interested to see why Reborn is going with this McCree rather than running the Hanzo. We've clearly seen Itami getting a lot of value running this Hanzo, breaking shields faster, you know, you have more time on your your, your Storm Arrow, it's buffed, and just Hanzo is just better for repositioning, not to mention the combos you could go, but look at this. Four is actually running the Sigma, Sigma on defense. I didn't know I that. Think, I yeah, forgot Sigma existed. I, I'm not even going to lie. Yeah, huh. I don't think that is the greatest... I no, th they should the be best. playing Zarya. Yeah, they should definitely be playing Zarya right here because Sigma is so much more clunky. And look at this, the brawl comes out immediately. Yeah, there's an immortality field there to keep him up for now, but uh, they're being forced on the back foot as Atami's putting a lot of pressure onto Dizzy, tearing down his shield oh, as it no, does Renfrew. all now. But RMM gets caught off there by Reborn. Uh, I mean, a waste, excuse me. So good opening pick there in this... Uh, in the fight and they're just going to be rolling on over and do manage to cap up first and that is why sigma is not the best choice especially for defense um like we talked about you could still run sigma somewhat in you know when it comes to attack but defense definitely not 
because Sigma with that extra cooldown is just so much more clunkier and you just don't have the reaction time to really do what you need to to protect your team and look at that for going back to the Zarya you know doing you know doing what needs to be done and Itami is just putting on so much damage I think you know ultimate wise they're pretty close right now Yes, there is a shatter drop, but one doesn't oh, find it, but the other one does the six man. Great work there, as they do manage to get the hold there at this uh, choke, which is very hard to break. Yeah, beautiful shatter coming out from Cam, just utilizing the payload to hide himself and just shattering below the payload. It's a very good tactic to do, you know, use your shatter on. Just hop over, use the payload as a cover, just shatter below. But I think Itami's dragon was not necessary there at all. Now that we're looking at Reborn coming in with another ultimate to answer for himself. Yeah, as... They are being kind of put on this back foot here as the blizzard gets thrown in from a waste. It's going to freeze up three players and all three will fall very early on as that's just going to be a very nice fight win. Yeah, that's a very quick fight one right there. And a lot of ultimate charge from Dizzy getting three kills off of that entire fight. And only from only one ultimate just using the blizzard from the side of a waste. So really good job from the side of Volcanic for being efficient right there in that fight because guess what you will need your majority of ultimates right here in this second point defense this is a very hard defense uh, to hold a lot of you know retaliation comes out from the side of defense and uh, look at this they only have one ultimate to work with the squad of grubs they only have pretty much blizzard right here yeah the sound barrier though from rmm is there to keep everybody up through that graviton search and trying through that high new which does not get any kills there but uh, Ranter's going to be using a sound barrier of his own to keep his team up through the blizzard from Dizzy. north. Look at as Dizzy. A shatter manages to find one. Yeah, Dizzy is in a very precarious situation, but he does uh, manage to stay alive for now. So they do find the kills there and will manage to cap up a uh, second. Yeah, a lot of uh, ultimates coming out, especially um, uh, Dizzy's shatter was... Quite impressive right there, but a really good job, good job. to North putting up that Maywall, denying a lot of uh, more casualties than it should have been. And now we're looking at another Graviton Surge and Dragon combo. So again, the only thing that's really blocking them from getting being successful is Cam's Immortality Field. So if they could bait out the Immortality Field cooldown, somehow this should be an easy fight win with this Graviton Surge. Yeah, there's the Graviton Surge and there's the Dragon. The Immortality Field is there, but it only lasts for so long. Uh, it lasts for long enough for some of the team to get out of the graph, but not all of it. And those two players do fall very early and will force a reset here. But still, 4 minutes and 15 seconds left on the clock. Uh, that's a long amount of time to burn if you are the squad of Grubs. You know, you remember, they only have 13 seconds to work with. So, you know, if... If... You know, Volcanic are able to take this before even a minute. That will be a huge advantage from them. And now, but looking at ultimates, there's a blizzard from the side of a waste. Yeah, good blizzard from a waste. Gonna freeze up a couple players. Do manage to get out though, but Sam gets killed. Right. He drops the shatter. Stop finding anything. The high new from Reborn is phenomenal. Picks up two. That's gonna be uh, really good. And we may see one final recontest, but it's gonna be a very tough one. Yeah, RMM just waiting around the back line, just hiding as much as possible to la touch in last second, and this is the second right now. Let's see if he could do anything. Oh my god, getting a waste on his uh, attempt. Yeah, is the uh, Stab Bear's gonna come through, though, from Ranter, trying to keep his team up through this blizzard, and it actually manages to uh, fail as his team is falling. Four gets a nice boop kill there at the end, but a lot of ultimates here for the defense, still. Yeah, and a really good job from the side of this uh, Grub squad. You know, really waiting this last second. It was risky, but they pulled it off nonetheless. It, uh, you know, I think RMM has to do a lot of that success, getting that early pick, booping off the make. And now, look at this. They have to. Uh, they have a dragon to work with and a B from RMM just in case things get dicey. Yeah, it's the dragon, uh, dragon strike though from Atomi. Does not find anything. The graviton surge, an NA grab. That's not, that's not good at all. The shatter on the side hits one, but Sam's gonna end up the one that's gonna die. The sound barrier now from RMM is gonna come out, trying to keep his team alive. As Atomi's gonna find one there from the soft angle before Asdo manages to trade him out. A d nice flashbang though. It's gonna hit a couple of players, and then Oasis has this uh, blizzard as well as RMM just fell off the edge. <laughs> The spin the window from Sam trying to 
contest for as long as possible, but I don't know what's going to happen. This is, should be a very fast attack. Yeah, 2 minutes and 54 seconds compared to a 13 seconds defense. I mean, from the side of Grubs. So, since, you know, we did have the changes, the time will be bumped up to 1 minute. But that's still a lot of time. Uh, a big time bank difference right here. You're looking at 3 minutes to attack compared to a minute of attack. So, that, that that's a quick difference. And I think what really needs to happen here... The grubs really need to sit down and say, okay, what are our priorities? What targets do you want to go for? And just execute it as quickly as possible. Because even a one fight, you know, loss at the very beginning will cost them at least 30 seconds or more to just kind of fall back and retaliate again, come back with whatever they have. So I think this needs to be effective, efficient, and quick, as uh, quick as possible. Because if not, you're just going to burn a lot of time off your clock. Yeah, they need to be fast and effective. Um, as we look like we'll see Widowmaker start on the uh, for the attacking side. Interested to see if he can get a pick here early on, or if he just gets shut down like uh, normal. I mean, they did get scouted out pretty early, so I, I think the team will be aware of the Widow right here, and the swap yeah, should the be swap. coming out to the Hanzo. So mirror, uh, nearly mirror comps. The biggest difference there was Cam and oh. Sev. Yep, and looks like pretty much have both Zarya Ryan right here. And look at this, they're pushing for Hotel right here. And oh, that's not what you want to see. This should be yeah. a reset immediately. Yeah, they need to reset as quickly as possible. Sam dies, but that's okay because they still have a fair amount of time. Uh, Atami though, he's taking, he's playing with fire there. He's giving himself up multiple times to rebar. Needs to be careful. Yeah, definitely needs to be careful because you don't want to give any more ultimate charge to Dizzy because look at that. He's already at 54%. That's a very scary number right here because when the brawl starts, the percentage will go higher and higher and Dizzy will have their shatter before anyone. Yeah, Dizzy uh, will have his shatter first oh, as he gets the no. on And this looks like this will be all but over. Not a lot of opportunities here especially with the rest of the team falling just three players alive for the attack atame finds one that's not going to be enough overtime does get triggered but nobody's going to be able to get back to the point and now the win condition win condition is there one tick is all they need literally one tick and just the burden a burden from the side of grubs is going to be so high because look at this you have to defend this super aggressive team for almost three minutes and all they need is not even a point completion just a tick so literally if there's a single pick comes out from the side of volcanic this is this point is pretty much winnable for for them so uh, Grubs need to be extremely careful not to give out any picks early on and just play their you know game as much as possible. You know, you have to kind of deny that, you know, a front approach that Volcanic likes to take. They don't really go for this hotel approach. You usually just go straight in, use the speed boost and go on and ram in, in the opponent team as much as possible. So be aware. I think, you know, Sam and Four needs to be, be uh, needs to be aware of that and just kind of handle that from there. Be aware that, you know, Reborn will most likely use a... Um, you know, just a wall to cut people off, but I don't think they're really going for that. We're looking to see a TP Bastion composition right here. So, you know, Reborn will actually put a TP on top of the golden statue right here, and a waste will be teleporting there. And Sigma will actually go first and put a, sh a shield in front of him. Look at this. This should be very interesting. I don't think they're expecting this. <laughs> well, they will see it now. They will notice the Bastion oh, as the oh, is teleporting oh. up. There they are. Reeb, uh, Awaze put a lot of pressure, and even though he's not getting kills, look what he's doing to this team. He's forced them into a situation where they do not want to be in, and now the players are falling. Now they're forced to touch point, which means it's just a fire zone, and even though they still had four players alive, they just gave up the point instead of walking into the Bastion. Volcanic will take a 2-1 lead. A very smart move for Volcanic right there, knowing that they don't even need to win the point, just need that one tick. And how do you do that? How do you just drive off a team? You do it by, you know, literally doing that. And look at this beautiful shatter coming out using the payload. Okay, shatter. 
Yeah, that was that was an amazing shadow. But uh, I really like what Volcanic did. Not being scared, and they know their win condition. They have three minutes to work with. Why wouldn't you go with that? You know, choice. Just a flashy looking choice where you just send out your Bastion all the top of the statue, and that's so much just space bought for your entire team to work with. Now, Volcanic are up two games. Uh, uh, actually, my bad. Yeah, Volcanic are up. One game, but actually, you know, two versus one for the side of Volcanic and Grubs only having one win under their belt. So this next map is Grubs pick, and this will really define what happens right now because Volcanic are, are on that match point. So Grubs will need to, this is the time they need to come back, just tie those knots together and just retaliate as much as possible against this aggressive and hungry squad of Volcanic. And, you know, I'm excited to see how they really go on about it because this is really when you have to throw out all this, you know, the last last loss and just throw it out the window and start fresh. This is where you reset your mental and just get into the game and talk about how, uh, what are the key players to target, how to play the composition better around this team and how to adapt around their play style, this aggressive play style, and how to punish them of all things. So it should be very interesting to see how, you know, Grubs kind of, mold their team composition and their play style around this volcanic coming into this next game which will really just you know determine whether we'll see a game five or volcanic will just walk away with a 3-1 victory yeah but uh no matter how these last couple maps shape up this so far has been one of the uh probably the best game of the season so far i mean it's just been back and forth no ni neither team giving up um and so far the um the team, each team has won their map pick. So if that trend continues, then we will be seeing a map five, and Volcanic would win that. But uh, that's, I, uh, that's I would, actually yeah, that that would yeah. be uh, it's, it's it would be very exciting to see five maps. But seeing people only win their map selections could be kind of boring. So, uh, <laughs> but yeah, uh, we will be heading over to um, a two CP for our fourth map. Everybody's favorite map type. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I mean, it should be interesting to see how this plays out since now Brawl is such a, you know, potent meta where going to different versions of Brawl where you're either running the, you know, May Brawl or you might be seeing a lot of Sim Brawl when it comes to these control zones or attack um, two CPs because, you know, you could set up your turrets very easily and a lot of mobility. So if we're seeing Hanamura, that should be very interesting to see how these teams go about it. Most likely we'll see a Sim teleport into the point or maybe, you know, even just a May just run in and do a rotation, full rotation around the point nonetheless but looks like we do have another swap from the side of grubs they're very very active with the team right now bringing in frozen to the lineup yeah frozen uh being subbed back in we saw uh, we saw him subbed out for north last time um, i if if they win this map though i think we see frozen stay for the rest of the series but if he if he manages if they don't win this map of course the series is just over so but yeah, Frozen coming back in, uh, kind of really impressed there on Dorado. Basically won them the map at the end, so. Some good work so far as we are heading in. Team, both sides are ready. And Volsky Industries will be our map. Uh, could see possibly Sigma. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw Reinhardt, but I still think the ball comp should still be the uh, the the superior comp. Yeah, I think uh, Ball Ball Zarya is just like seems so good in this. No, no matter what map you really put, so I, I think Ball Ball Zarya will what we probably will see maybe some Diva, but Volsky Industry is really all about you know how well you can move with the momentum. So I, I think we might see some Divas coming out here. Just see how fast these teams could just you know, push an advantage to a snowball potential and just kind of roll through the entire entire game i always talk about dorado this way I, I love this map because it's really one of those pure cl uh, clutch maps where no matter what happens you know might have just 30 seconds left a team could never even take in a point the entire time they could just come back take the first point roll through with that 30 seconds left and get the second point immediately so very interesting to always watch dorado and see how teams play this out yeah, as uh... We are getting into the game here. 
Uh, we will see a echo from both sides. Biggest difference in the comps, though, is an Ash over a Tracer. Uh, away is opting to run this. So it's a, he mainly is looking, though, to take down Frozen out of the sky. See, they're going to try to rotate off the side, try to push them off of this high ground. See Rucky Ball heading around. It's a map that has a lot of very interesting rotations. That's what you want to try to focus on. Try to push the team off of whichever high ground they choose to hold. Wrecking Ball's coming around the side. It's going to slam on top of Oase. Putting a lot of pressure, but our, uh, Sam is forced out. But Oase going to be the first casualty. Sev does manage to take it down and resurrect. This does not look likely. Uh, looks pretty impossible in all honesty. And so this is looking good so far for the attack, but Atami does get traded. See uh, the very back and forth kills, but the defense does have the player advantage so far. And this is going to be a soft reset, I believe. Yeah, this should be a quite soft reset right here. A, a lot of kills coming out from Frozen. And this is where things get really dicey. You, How do you want to attack this? Do you want to rotate? Do you want? Are you looking for that you know, long-range poke? which should be really interesting to see how they play that out. And you really want to pay attention to how Itami is moving right here. That Tracer will be the key component of taking them down. And as I say that, uh, just gets deleted off the map. Yeah, but the Resurrect is there. So and Ford does manage to get a kill there onto away. So they do have a uh, a player advantage in this fight is the Wrecking Ball. He's trying to push them off this high ground as they, they've rotated up through the side and then done a tr and tried to push them off of this high ground. So he can come through and he's going to choose an Echo as his duplication target. So the transcendence there for both sides. Uh, but all four support ultimates have been used. The duplicated Diva Bomb comes through, does not result in any kills. However, as Sev uh, managed to take down his counterpart on Zenyatta in cam. The Diva Bomb from 4 gets thrown in, does manage to find a way. Sarantar does trade out on this Mercy as they are finding kills. Those Adex does manage to get a boop kill off the edge onto Sev. And Atami is falling very low and does fall. I think it's a 2v1 on point. This A 2v2, excuse me. Uh, the Diva Bomb gets thrown out. Does not result in anything. The uh, Remek is there. 6 health. The Remek actually kills Sam. It's just 4 here on this duplicated Diva. He's, he's going to throw out the Diva Bomb. I don't know if it's going to be able to do anything and it will not but we see players returning the second tick comes through as this looks like the offensive side should be able to cap this but as soon as they say the asdo finds well but there's no supports here for the defense yeah i think this is a pretty win fight from the side of offense right here a lot of back and forth fight but still remember the attack has a much lower you know much such a lower dis distance to cover from point so as they are getting kills, they'll be keep trickling in the attack and they will be able to just take over eventually. And just like that, the point should be over right about now. Yeah, we do finally see the cap and some late kills coming through for the attack. But the defense, of course, does get the three second respawns. Yeah, Grub doing a very good job, not wasting a lot of time, actually. That was usually, you know, that is considered a very first, you know, first, uh, very fast first point uh, taken. So they have a lot of time to work with right now, 3 minutes and 43 seconds. They could easily just spam this out and build all the ultimates they needed. But look at this, Renter falling early. Yeah, Ranter falls very early. Uh, Mercy, believe it or not, cannot resurrect herself, which means the Mercy dead early is going to be very detrimental to the team, as you see now in the kill feed, as there's only one player alive for the defense currently. They will yeah, be returning though as the first hit comes through. A couple of ultimates for either side still, so if they can get back onto the play, which I don't know if they're even going to be able to do, this could still be winnable, but Adex was the one to touch, and he doesn't manage to do so. Oh, I was just going to say, a lot of ultimates from the side of grub right there and this is usually a this is considered a very fast map take if you are playing on volskaya so a lot of fire coming out from the squad of grubs you know we talked about how you know if the trend of winning their own map pick goes along then they should be able to take over this map also and they definitely gave us the promise right here with three minutes and 14 seconds left on the time bank that's a pretty impressive time bank to break if you are volcanic but if we know volcanic they love being aggressive and you know playing aggressive in this map could really benefit your team if you're doing it correctly Ready for battle. <laughs> yeah for sure as we will see uh mirror comps it appears for this next point uh, for not the next point for volcanics attack so see what they're able to do yeah i think it really go is going to come down to rotations and first pick 
Uh, we've seen many times like the first picks really define all the map, you know, the attack or defense wins right here. So I think it really comes down to how effectively they do that. And Cam has been a player to watch out for when it comes to really securing this first pick no matter what playing being the zenyatta you have the long range debuff you have the long range damage a lot of volley coming out so it should be interesting but keep an eye out from itami and Awais. this tracer matchup will really shape how things go in this upcoming fight yeah as we have a call for a pause but i think everybody on the uh, side Very of grubs hopefully we can get this resolved quickly it appears sev is having some issues uh, with his internet hopefully we can get those resolved and get back into the game uh, but yeah, yeah as as mirror copter for both sides the um both conscious want to find a target kill him as quickly as possible and fight for position that's pretty much what needs to happen at this point right now uh i think uh both teams are you know they have the players to do that and they would definitely see they have the talent for it and you know it's usually you'd say that you want to kind of go with your ball and pick out the target so it really comes down to how synchronized oh 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 looks like itami was not ready for that on pause right there they were just standing still they yeah tommy uh gets taken out very early on in this situation uh, in the sky though is frozen he's getting pressured in some very awkward situations for does manage to take down adix but frozen removed from the sky and so this attack does have the man advantage as sam is falling very low as well we see in the back though rmm is also they take, take it down very low as cam with a very nice uh, kill there onto itami as this will just be the reset and first point cap yeah, this is an even faster point take from the side of Volcanic right there. Um, very unfortunate that Cam uh, Itami really had to, you know, go through that cycle, getting taken down while they were not attending the game, and then on top of that, coming back and getting volleyed by in the face by Cam. So um, very interesting. So now they have five minutes to work with. That's two more minutes extra. Pretty much three minutes extra than you know more than what we have from the side of Grubs. They have. So let's see how they push it. They should have the ultimate economy advantage over time. So it should be really interesting to see how they approach this fight. Yeah, as the Wrecking Ball diving onto high ground, Diva Bomb gets eaten for it. It's another one of Oasis Pulse Bombs. How many times has this happened? I've uh, lost track. Somebody needs to uh, check after the game is over, but he does get taken down there as the Transcendence is there from Sev, keeping his team alive from this duplicate from Reborn. The tra uh, counter Transcendence comes through, however, as Oasis in the back line is putting on a lot of pressure, but he's removed. Sev playing some very nice uh, Overwatch on the Zen Yacht. I think the, the uh, offense is just going to be forced to reset. Yeah, that was a very good, you know, I guess a very good come back from the side of defense right they, even though they had a lot of time to work with and now they're slowly burning down the clock and as we talk about the ultimate economy also got equalized somehow we only see sam and rmm ha holding on to the ultimates while on the other side it's only adax and asto so unless asto lands a phenomenal phenomenal oh, phenomenal me. There you go. Thank you so much, Joe, for helping me out. But unless you know, they land a beautiful bomb, I don't think they will get a lot of value. Yeah, the Diva Bomb gets thrown out, but Reborn picks up a double as he's trying to uh, put his team over the line there. It's frozen, but the only one to get a kill gets taken down. Oh. So transcendence, these Divas though, have been on point this game, eating all the pulse bombs they possibly can. They're hungry and they're feasting off these tracers. As we do see attack come through, the mines are thrown to the point there by Sam. Oh. Shred Sentence, though, comes out from Cam as to destroy the mines and keep his team alive for as long as possible. As Sam, the uh, best chance to contest is taken down. Atami removed as well. Time. So this is looking great here as we could see very close to equal time bags. Yeah, look at this. Three minutes and 44 seconds counting down and not a lot of time to burn. So this definitely could be doable from the side of defense. Oh, no, look at this. Atami getting a kill on Cam. Yeah, Tommy does find one as they're trying to burn this time bank down as low as possible, but Frozen finds one. They may just be able to hold us. This may, I don't know if they're even going to be able to cap at, at this situation. Only a couple players alive. The Diva Bomb gets thrown out. Does not get any kills. The duplicated Diva Bomb gets thrown out as well. It does manage to knock Frozen out of his duplicate, but does not find any kills. 
as Reborn does manage to find another one. The Resurrect is trying to come it's through, coming. and it does damage to That's a great Resurrect. They're contesting, they're finding kills, and the players are running thin for Volcanic. We're already behind time right here. Look at this. He should have oh, capped no. us for four minutes. Oh, no. Look at this. Another... I just have to give this, like, the DPS line from the defending team, the Grub Squad, was just on point right there. Deleting the two healers from their side so effectively was really just what kept them into the entire fight. And now we're looking at a time bank for Volcanic that is already lower than Grub's. Yeah, so... Uh, you see a oh. Anix? Um, that happened. I think I think they were trying to go around, rotate around by using oh, the grapple. That's a reset. <laughs> <laughs> Very interesting. Oh yeah, reborn gets taken down late as well, so they really do need to reset now. Wait for all six players and try to cap. Uh, try to cap with time. Yeah, I definitely have to do this right now because now they only have about two minutes to work with. They do have some ultimates on board. Cam has that transcendence, and if a waste could land this pulse bomb anywhere close to Sev, this will be a beautiful beautiful you know value coming out from the side of volcanic yeah as the mines get thrown on point there by 8x this time he does not fall off the edge for it's another pulse bomb oh my word this made is on point today reborn does trade out onto frozen however the mines get thrown out the transcendences are there for both sides to blow up every mine in existence as this is as this is still kind of anybody's fight to win here, but the tank line is starting to fall low, but Reborn's going to be the one to die as this attack is looking desperate as Adex runs into the mines, and this is going to be another hold here. Only a minute 20 left. Uh, pretty much only a minute left for the side of Volcanic to work with, and this is this is desperation moment if you are Volcanic right now, because not only you don't have enough time, you're also falling behind a, a lot in this ultimate economy. Look at this. It, the squad of grubs already have three crucial ultimates online for this defense and as we're counting down you heard the lady 60 minutes 60 seconds only to work with and now this is where they really need to make things happen asto needs to nail this bomb right here yeah i need to try to they they have some ultimates to work with but less than the defensive side this is gonna be a tall order one kick is what they need, and the Steve bomb needs to be the start of it, but it does not find anything. The other Diva bomb, though, from 4 gets thrown out, does not get anything either. Duplicate comes through from to the Mercy, and Reborn goes over to the Zen Yada. What are these duplicate choices? The Zen makes a bit more sense, as uh, Oasis does get an opening pick there. Uh, Frozen could use his Resurrect, but does not look like he's going to opt to Diva bomb. Uh, Pulse bomb, excuse me, gets thrown in, does not result in any kills, however. Frozen in the back line takes down Ranter, no support line, oh, the defense no. is going to do this, and this looks like we're going to be headed to a map 5, Sai. Oh no, I talked about it, we might be seeing a map 5, and they definitely delivered it right here, Grubs coming clutch after looking so, so out of place in this first map, and this, you know, they really answered it back in the second map, and now it's all just trickling in from the side of the attackers i don't think they will still take the point right here the overtime is burning up and this is it they should have capped this with four minutes they they this this should have been an easy cap with four minutes left but they just weren't able to do it and now we will be going to a map five but like i said earlier every map so far in the series has been won by the team that chose it so if this continues uh volcanic should be taking the series yeah, so if we are looking at the pattern, this Volcanic definitely should be taking the series, but a lot of a lot of weird mistakes were happening from the side of Volcano right here, not being as effective as they looked in the first couple of map. You know, you know they're usually a team that you look at it and they want to play aggressive, they want to have those key target choices, and they want to eliminate them as quickly as possible. But it was just not happening in the second point of defense, and not to mention Volskaya defense for second point is actually a really strong defense. So not the blame is not entirely on them. It was just if there was more efficiency when it comes to the killing and rather than chasing a lot of the kills down just kind of bunker down and kill whoever is trying to touch the point i think they would have taken it around the four minute mark but other than that we are going to go to oasis that is our tiebreaker map ladies and gentlemen and i'm excited to see what these teams have to bring to the table because i personally have not seen oasis in a very long time so i, I like want to see how the 
yeah, I, I love that map. So I, I'm, you know, I'm hoping to see any uh, some boops from the side of, you know, uh, our <laughs> renter to, to like boop people into the car or something like that. Should be really interesting to watch. But I, I want to see how this works out. I think Oasis is a really interesting map because it really has those intricacies and little flank rotations and whatnot where, you know, Ryan Hearts and a lot of tank users could really, you know, just take advantage of so it should be interesting to see how they play it out we do see adax and sam on the board so this uh, you know it's clear that we will see a ball composition from both sides yeah adax and uh sam are the main uh, um ball players for both sides so like you said we should be seeing some wrecking ball very excited here for what i what is honestly an incredible series so far yeah this is very interesting uh it's it really comes down to you know we talked about this was expected both of these teams are the two you know top two teams coming in also you know the community favorites so i'm not surprised by this map five at all i called it out at the very beginning i'm glad we're getting it and this is just you know a good good staple match especially at the beginning of the tournament because now this really holds up this you know bumps up the the ceiling or kind of the pedestal for all these other teams that are watching you know they they will fear these teams and that they just have to play better and more effect, efficient to keep up uh with these uh, you know teams like volcanic and grubs so i i'm really excited to see how this tournament flux cup really rolls out from this game forward so interested to see how these games really affect on the not just these teams but the entire tournament in general yeah for sure as a yeah so we are getting ready here so i need to go do something real quick but as soon as he gets back uh it looks like we're gonna hop in, so we got the Jerry's or solo cast for a bit. Welcome to Oasis. Um, so yeah, we're be heading into Oasis here. Would ex definitely expect, like we mentioned, some of the br uh, ball comps. So this is very exciting here. Both teams have been battling back and forth uh, this entire series, and it's brought us to the situation. This is this is this is one of the most exciting. Uh, series as I've seen in the one probably the best this uh, season so far. As our map, first map here will be, I, uh, I forgot the name. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, but we'll see mirror cops from both sides. Uh, this ball, deeper with this uh, tracer echo has been kind of prominent composition with backline. Uh, very, very good comp in all sorts of Five. different maps and situations. We are ready here. This is this is this is going to be the uh, deciding map here, map five in this honestly phenomenal series. As you see, they're going to try to fight over this uh, jump pad very early on. It looks and it uh, looks like Grubs will take control of it and reborn. Take it down very early on. Sev goes off the edge. Sev, what is that? <laughs> See, he's just taking out the fight, so it's in essence a one for one trade. You see a waste of the back line, they'll put a lot of pressure, but Sam's gonna manage to take him down in the end. So he will be moving forward onto the point now, as they're gonna be forced over into an awkward situation. Adex, the only one contesting point, it's Gam, gonna get the trade onto Frozen, as the first cap is actually gonna end up going the way of Volcanic in a very good fashion. We're gonna see a couple ultimates though, building up for both sides, as uh, still kind of a contesting from volcanics but tommy just goes down they need to just reset in all honesty but the ultimates here for either side uh 50 to 60 percent on 40 to 60 percent on most of them as rmm you can sink them very late as well they need to just reset stay and spawn if you need to uh, these these deaths are just not very uh, very worthwhile as as the uh what they gonna want to do in this heist they want to try to take control of Either they want to try to take control of one on the side so they can push them into a small corner because if they just go straight onto that point, they'll be shot off from all different angles. But if they could take like the jump pad or they could take over the other side where the mega is, they can really put a lot of pressure on them and just 
force them into positions they may not want to take. But Seth at the back is left alone and the team collapses on him. There is a Resurrect there to keep him up, but Frozen gets taken out as well. So this is a very good start uh, to this fight as it looks like this should be another reset here. For the side of Volcanics. They will commit the Mind Stone, which does force out the Transcendence from Cam. Pulse Bomb gets thrown in as well from Atami. They're trying to fight this, but I don't think they should be. It looks like they finally will decide to reset, but um, in the back, they get it, but away. Swift the Pulse Bomb picks up the double kill, takes down the support line. Great play from him, as now we are nearing final fight territory with the ultimate advantage going in favor of the um, side of Grubs. Uh, Volcanic, excuse me. Let's see what they are going to be able to do here. They're uh, going to be committing into this fight here. They need to try to open this up with the Diva Bomb. Take the space. Then you can use your Guardian Angel to keep your team alive. As you capitalize off that space. And use the Transcendence to counter the Mines. And keep your team off in that situation. But you see the Racky Ball from Adax is going to try to go in the back. Not going to get the Mines in that situation. They're stuck in the small room. There will be a tag on the point that was Asso's going to throw in the Diva Bomb. It's not resulted in any kills this, but he does manage to get a kill onto a Tommy as the baby Diva. Diva Bomb does manage to take down his Oasis. You do manage to flip over in the middle of all this chaos. Frozen finds one. The Resurrect is there. The Diva Mine, uh, the Mines are causing some problems, but not too many. The Duplicate comes through onto Transcend, uh, onto the Zenyatta, but not able to build up a transcendence in time. The duplicate for Frozen, though, is over onto the defense. It looks like in the end, Grubbs finally gets to stay. Yeah, and now, there's not really any ultimates in the next fight. It's gonna be a the closest thing we'll have all uh, closest thing we have to a neutral map. A neutral fight, excuse me. So, let's see what they're able to do. I think this should go in favor of the defending side, though, mainly because Atami is the closest one to an ultimate with his Pulse Bomb. If he could pick up one, maybe two kills with it, this is going to be more than enough for them to manage to win this here. But Reborn, what are you doing? He dies to the car! And then the boop comes through from <laughs> Sam trying to get somebody else into it. Oh, there, there they go! Oh, oh, oh. So close. He managed to survive, though. <laughs> As we do get a uh, pause. Not sure what's up with that. Um, but, yeah, so this looks like the defensive side, uh, not the defensive side, the uh, Grubs will manage to hold. Oof. So this, uh, it looks like um, he actually lagged out, reborn lagged out into the car. That's, that's uh, unfortunate. But, yeah, I think we're all ready to hop back in now. Yes, we are getting back in. Uh, they are still fighting in this very awkward position, though. The dive comes through. Frozen putting a lot of pressure onto them. The Trits, not the Trits, it's the Guardian Angel, excuse me, comes out from Ranters. The Mines are going to get thrown in, trying to put a lot of pressure onto them. As they're uh, still kind of just prodding around. Reborn will be rejoining the fight now, as you can see him on your screen. The dive comes through, but Reborn, take it down immediately again. A Pulse Bomb though comes through onto Atame as the as uh, Sev gets taken down, and it looks like they're gonna do this. Volcanic does have the two, uh, two man advantage, and they should be doing enough here to get the flip and possibly the uh, point the point secured and possibly the win here. Unless something crazy happens, this will be the end. As, yeah, so just uh, contesting for as long as possible. Trying to make any magic, but it's not going to be possible. They don't have any ultimates either, so it's not like they could make some magic out of that. And this should be... I say I say should be, because you see Frozen does get a kill. Uh, but yeah, this should be the... Uh, this should be the point going the way of Volcanics, but they're contesting for a very long time. They have four players live, though. It is a 4v5 on the point. The duplicate has come through. He does have the Steve Bomb. He's going to throw it in. It's not going to result in any kills. The Transcendence is there from Cam keeping his team up for as long as possible. As Sev has been removed. Adex throws it his mind. He's trying to uh, bully his team around. But nobody's going to go down yet. The Pulse Bob does not find anything from Atami. As this is a very long contest, but it's not going to turn out in their favor. As this is... This is looking like this is going to be all over. Not, no real... Running out of options. Running out of chances. And... In the end, this should be first point, like I said, around four or five different times. Going the way of Volcanic. And a very close round, though. Uh, I think this map so far has delivered uh, like we expected it to. So, see what they're able to do here on whatever the next map will be. I 
think this. I I, I don't know the day. Hold on, hold on. We we'll figure this out. We'll figure this out together. Oasis map name. This would be an interesting journey to look into map names. Size you know, map. You, <laughs> the, thank you so much for covering. Uh, I, I really do apologize. Something really um, emergency came out, but I'm back nonetheless. And this should be. Uh, so, other than that, you know, so far looks like we do have a point win from the side of Volcanic. Yeah. Should be interesting to see how the teams come back right here. I, I like you. I like watching this uh, this part of Oasis right now because it's like usually so compact. You have to kind of not really a lot of room to make rotations, and it's just kind of face front. You have to go at it. Yeah, as they're gonna go very aggressive though and just take down Seth. They kind of just ran in and took him down before they even had a chance. As they're gonna be running a brawl comp, but Volcanics will. So the point will be unlocking, but. Sam's uh, going to contest for as long as possible. Probably will get taken down in the end. It looks like he will, and they will just eventually get first cap. Yeah, and uh, very interesting the fact that they we're still seeing a ball composition run from the side of Grubs because, you know, usually running ball into a... I mean, the ball composition into a brawl, usually not the brightest idea because you have to be there in person. You know, you have to just roll in, roll out. And also having a diva as your mate, as, you know, your off tank doesn't really provide a lot of protection for your backline. You know, you could easily burn down a diva, especially with a high charge Zarya like Asdo. So, really, don't think a you know ball composition is the right answer right here. Even though we're seeing a bunch of dives at the backline. Yeah, they are trying to dive in, try to put a lot of pressure onto them. But you see, the supports do get traded down as Atami does manage to take down a Ooh. overextended reborn. As Oasis falling low as well, uh, I think he still has his ice block though. Yeah, he does. Oh, but he doesn't actually. He just only had his Maywall, so he does get taken down there. As the flip does go through for Grubs. A very good you know, play right there for Frozen, uh, especially you know utilizing that you know all the way staying all the way in the back, covering the point. So you know, Volcanic had to kind of answer that and fall back from the aggression they were showing and then just immediately swaps off to the reinhardt to get a counter pick and now look at itami they have a dragon to work with while on the other side of volcanic have three ultimates including blizzard yeah uh see colas has come out as so itami's caught in this uh small corner and it's gonna go down uh transcendence is there though from sev he's trying to keep his teams up the graviton surge it's thrown on in that should be enough for his t uh for the side of Volcanics to get the flip over unless something crazy happens. Oh, that bomb is way too high to get anything. Oh, never oh. mind. Picks up Renter, and that's actually a very crucial pick. If, right, if the squad, yeah, if they want to retaliate right now. And they may be able to hold this in a situation where they only had three players left compared to five. The flip did come through, however, with Sam falling. It looks like, yeah. It takes her all down. Atami is going on a bit of a flank, but he, yeah, no kills for him, and this will be the flip. Yeah, and this also calls for a reset right here. You know, your both tanks are down. Your diva is out of mech, uh, mech. So diva will probably just run back, swap heroes, and come back out again. Pretty easy solution right here to get the mech back. But we'll lose all, all the ultimates. But oh, look at this. A full-on Sigma. Oh, never mind. They swap back. But, you know, if you look at the ultimate economy, that was a very good fight for the side of Volcanic. They only used literally one <gasps> ultimate. And right now, oh my god. Reborn rolls back at the time. Oh no. The duplicate comes out though uh, from Frozen, but the shatter is there. It's going to hit a couple of... It's going to hit Frozen, so he's forced out of his duplicate. There, as we're nearing overtime though, as Ranter is taken out very early on. Sam gets traded out, but Adax removed as well, as this is looking good here for Grubs. I think. Actually, as soon as I say that, Frozen removed. The Graviton Surge is there. That's High Dude as well. They're going to hold this and win, the, uh, and win the map and win the series. And that's going to be it. Wow, what a bang to go out with right there using the literally no shields from the side of the squad of Grubs. You know, so it's an easy. Pretty easy, you know, gra uh, Grub slash uh, Deadeye right there. So really good stuff from both teams. But I think you know, it really came down to running this ball 
the ball diva composition against a Zarya Ryan, you know, you really have to understand you have no shields and the Zarya opponent Zarya will have a lot of ton of charge from bubbling their Ryan. So it just doesn't make sense why you would want to stick to that. You don't have the protection for your backline to really save them. Even then, if Astro even wanted to just be the, that protective meaty shield, the Zarya from the side of, uh, you know, the opponent team will just burn them through as quickly as possible. So you don't usually want to run that composition, the ball diva composition against uh, a brawl, especially Ryan Zarya for that exact reason. And we've seen what happened. No shield. That means easy high noons all day from the side of a waste. Yeah, so uh, it, it, uh, it, uh, I'm not, I, it appears that we're not going to have an interview. Uh, Braxis got a dip, so no, no oh. time for interview, sadly. It's okay, it's okay. In our hearts, uh, you know, whoever watching, you know, we all know who deserves the interview and who will get it. I think uh, we could at least talk about it. Who who would you have given the interview to, Joe? Probably Oase. I think Oase, uh, either Oase or Rancher. They both provided a lot of value on the team, no matter what. Um, I think I, no matter I what they were playing. To... Yeah, I definitely have to agree with you there. Um, a waste, I think, did a fantastic job. Both DPS lineups for uh, for Volcanic did a fantastic job, but a waste came in clutch multiple times. We've seen, you know, just going in and out. So I think a really good, really good stuff, and really have to give it to these two teams for playing it out, taking us to map five in control for Oasis in the very last map deciding. I think Grubs put up a very good fight. And this is a learning experience. Like I talked about, you have to understand these teams are still very new to the you know the cup uh, the tournament so as they go along they will get better and better but other than that i think this calls for a closing night joe i think we had a beautiful uh, beautiful game i'm super excited to see these players play again in the future but other than that my name is Sai, guys and i'm here with my co-caster joe and i think we'll be calling out for tonight good night and have a great weekend